Hi everybody, it's me. I, I'm i looking at the screen now and it, something's wrong with my camera, do you think? And it's like ever since I used that one filter um, late at night and it looked, it looked really funny. The f it's done something to the quality of the picture. Oh, there it is. I almost forgot my Tim Hortons. Excuse me. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's Tuesday, and this is the second week of my husband's second set of holidays and I think we are going away tomorrow up to Lion's Head that I've told you all about before uh, on Georgian Bay and uh, if all goes well we should be heading out tomorrow I'm coming down with something could be allergies though so I'm not gonna try and think about it and so I'll be gone again for another couple of days, but I shall return. And I was wondering, when I was watching the, uh, the Chicago meetup um, vlogs or clips, I should say, from different people that were there, was it a very big turnout? Um, somebody that was there tell me make a little video or something Danny you were there and Bozat and um, Lisa was there Traveler Traveler Lisa was there and um, Cheryl you were there did you find that I'm just wondering at the meets do you talk about everything or do you find that it all drifts back to YouTube and it's just a matter of you know how you got started on YouTube or uh, why did you make such and such a, a video I was just wondering whether that's what it was like and then once the the talking about YouTube was finished there was nothing else to talk about I hope not so I really like all of you. There's quite a few of you that I would just like to be able to sit and just talk about life with. I was wondering from looking at other videos and of past YouTube meetups and that, that um, it seemed like you could hear people talking but all they were talking about was um, their camera that they use or uh, oh I love that video you did about such and such. Um, is there more than just that or is it like any other type of um, uh, meetup say for people that have the same type of hobby you know what I mean like is that all that you talk about I hope I'm making sense because my sinuses feel all plugged up tonight there's another beautiful evening here just like when I went and asked for people to say tube granny makes me moist when I went down to our park last night it was amazing that was that was a true test of nerve I'll tell ya you should have seen some of the looks I got man some people were like offended like I don't think so they'd say and I was like oh that's okay there's no problem you know, you don't have to. Wow. Oh. I know if somebody walked up to me and asked me, I'd do it. Just for fun. <sighs> so there you go. And, uh, that's about it. And I have to go and pack, I guess, now. You know, it's funny, it's like, I don't really care if we do take off tomorrow or not. I just feel quite relaxed here at home. It's been sort of a whirlwind summer this this year. Um, 
maybe it just that's the way it goes with age that's about all I have to say um, you guys take care and if we do go away tomorrow I'll be sure and take my camera with me and I'll um, I'll bring back some clips of uh, Georgian Bay and the escarpment and it's just really nice and maybe the little lighthouse I'll take some pictures of you can go in the lighthouse oh and one funny story once we were up there and you can go in the lighthouse and there's a big chalkboard there inside the lighthouse they have things in jars you can look at like the Mississauga rattlers and stuff like that that they have up there not live in the jar but you know what I mean like they're freeze dried or something but you can write on the chalkboard they like you to write when you've gone walk through the trails did you see a certain type of you know whippering um, multi-feathered fly tailed something and you write it on the board what you've seen now I'm standing there looking at the board thinking this is really boring so I took the chalk and I wrote underneath somebody had a red wing blackbird something I wrote elephant Sasquatch and just as I was about to put my chalk on the board again I looked over and the proprietor of the lighthouse was looking standing there staring at me and he said oh no you didn't <laughs> And I felt, I felt like I was a little kid back in school again who I had been caught red-handed doing something. I was just trying to make it more exciting. Okay, guys, you take care. I love you all. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye for now.